All right, so today on today's topic of class, uh, Leon is going to be talking about Emblem Tales. <laughs> World Ambassadors, Junior Developers, Developers, and Founders. Long ago, the four chains were planning for Emden Tales to release. Then, all that went to shit when the bugs started to attack. They were all working hard for the game, making sure that the game would have a good release. Have all four chains work together, that shit vanished. That really hit a fing vanishment, and then nobody didn't know where it went. But then everything came to life when Leandre popped up out of nowhere. Huh? With his superpowers and his voice, making this a really good video, he'll be able to tell everyone why Emblem Tales turn into delayed tales. Episode 1. Please don't take this video down. Stop the cap. <laughs> Hey, yo, bro, so I just got home from school. You know, it's my second day, you know, like editing this video and shit. I'm eating some ice cream while editing this. And if you guys like this type of ice cream, let me know. And if you like this video, uh, if you like Luigi, um, don't mind that webcam in the back. Uh, like, subscribe. Fuck with my boy Luigi, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 it's nice to see a little good audience here. See, Leon, about to go do his little explanation on Emblem Tales. The first thing we're going to talk about Emblem Tales is when it was made. You ready for your first question today? My first question for today? Yeah, we're going to be redoing the last one. When was Emblem Tales created? Three years ago. When snack break? Damn, you're a dumbass. Yo, hey, what's up, Leon? Hey. Hey, 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 my Kari, today on Family Feud, you'll be countering the question that Natsu answered wrong. When was Emblem Tales created? I don't fucking know. Well, goddamn, nigga, bye bye. When you guys sit down and wonder that about the RPG game, game, the first thing that you wonder is what are you going to pick? Yes, what are you going to pick? Today, we're going to be listening to all of these classes and talk about each and one of them. The first one that we are going to be talking about is Warrior. If you guys are very familiar with basically a lot of RPGs that you're probably playing to pass on mobile and PC, you will know that Warrior is pretty much the most offensive class out of every single class in the game. So I would like to keep it short and simple that if you really want to be a very offensive person and have a lot of skills that mainly does a lot of attack and strength, I really just recommend you go on Warrior. Next one that we are going to be talking about is Rogue. Rogue, also an offensive class, but also more of an assassin class, so you'll be having a lot of speed. Basically meaning that you will have less damage. It is also said or taken that Rogue is actually the fastest class inside of the game. And the weapons that they use can actually be a single dagger or a double dagger. If you're ever the type of person where you like to sneak up on people or like a lot of speed and like your attacks to be very fast, but sacrifice some of your health just for some little strength and a lot of speed, then I recommend you really go in Rogue. The next one we are going to be talking about is also Knight. It says that Knight is a tank class from what I really got from the Emblem Tales Discord. I have not played the game myself yet, but I'm saying stuff that really makes common sense. And I think personally that Knight would really be a tank class. And from what I also see from the sneak peeks and stuff, it seems that Knight actually carries a shield and a sword all at the same time. So if you guys like a lot of defense and light strength too on top of that, I really recommend you pick a Knight if you want to be a tank for the team. Now for the next one, one of my favorite classes even though I have never played with it from the gameplay I've seen, I really do like the Lancer class. And it's also proving inside the game that Lancer class has the furthest M1 range out of every single class since it really just uses spear. If you guys ever watched the anime Fate Zero, you see Lancer, you see his thing is pretty fucking long, no homo. But every time I always go inside the Elden Tale Discord, I swear if you ask someone if Lancer is the best class, I promise you that most people are just gonna say yes. I don't know why, but every time I always see in emblem tales lancer is always like the number one topic class that is always talked about and apparently it's really good so you know i'm definitely gonna search that that's why we're gonna be really matter for when the game comes out so you know i'm definitely gonna be looking out for that no cap at the time of this recording i just seen chris walk got his shit slapped by will smith so since will smith was whooping his ass we'll go with brawler for the next class that we're talking about brawler a fist main class 
purely offense, I'm pretty sure, but you can also use skills to actually buff your damage. When I was actually talking inside the Emblem Tales Discord about this brawler class, I was getting some mixed feelings about it. People were saying it's good, some people were saying it was bad. But when I looked at brawler more closely, I'm not gonna lie, when I see this, I was thinking more of like a PvP class to be honest. Cause remember, you do have your own type of skill to actually buff your damage and you have a little AoE move where you can actually attack everywhere you go. Other than that, I'm pretty sure Brawler does have some good combos, and I'm pretty sure it will be one of the best offensive classes inside this game when it actually comes to combos and everything. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for this one. The next class that we're going to be talking about is Acolyte. I do not know if I said that right. Please don't bully me if I didn't say it right or not. So here's one thing about Acolyte that we all know. Acolyte is actually mainly a healing class and supporting class for you to actually heal your teammates. One thing I do like about this is that this might actually be one of my main classes because when I actually see more gameplay of it, which I recommend you checking out my boy Nasu in the description below for more info about Emblem Tales, I can like look very, very, very interesting. I really do like it because you can heal people and I'm pretty sure it's actually one of the most important classes inside the game when it actually comes to dungeons and everything. Hey yo, so we only got two more to go over and then we're done with this boring ass lesson from Leandre about classes. Yay! So we're gonna be talking about Ranger. No, I'm not, no, 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 no. I, I, I ain't going out with y'all. I don't know what God am thinking about Ranger. I'm pretty sure I do not have to explain what a Ranger is. It's so obvious. Just grab a gun or a bow and arrow. I don't even know if this game has guns or not. Grab a bow, grab an arrow, and shoot people with it. And special skills. That's literally what a Ranger is. There's nothing else I have to speak about. I don't know anything about this class at all. Last, but most definitely not least, is definitely Scholar. I heard Scholar is kind of like a support class, but at the same time, I kind of heard it's not a support class at the same time. When I was actually hearing about Scholar, I really heard it's more of like a mage class, actually. And I myself can't really guess what type of skills this mage class will have. But what I heard is that Scholar can actually be a good crowd control from what I heard in the Discord. And I mostly believe them because they were potentials that were actually telling me that too. This makes me think that Scholar would actually be a huge asset to PvP. Now that we have those all out the way, let's actually talk about Emblem Tales. Let's talk about how inside the trailer, how the map actually looks, how it looks on 10 graphics quality. Now, there are only many games out there that can actually make use of 10 graphics quality with how good that their map looks. Me? I'm solely excited for Emblem Tales because of how good the graphics are and how good the trees are made, especially with a bunch of other things like crystals, humans, ground, fences, and also harvesting inside the game. The one thing that also makes this trailer look a lot more better is how smooth the video is and how good the lighting actually looks inside of the game. It makes it actually peek out a lot. In my opinion, I would say that Emblem Tales will probably be one of the best RPG games on Roblox to actually have good lighting like this and also the game will also be having harvesting with different types of maps, which means different types of lighting and different types of atmospheres. I think the atmosphere really sets the mood for the game and how good the effects will also be too. With how good the map actually looks, I won't be surprised if the effects were actually looking pretty good inside the game too. Props to the developers for all of their hard work. I'm going to be showing you guys this little hive map that they actually show it as a sneak peek inside of Emblem Tales Discord itself. I am not going to speak over this, I'm going to let this video play and you guys can see how the game is for yourself. This is basically a dungeon map. That video right there basically just proved my point right on how good the effects look. Now, other than the effects, let's actually talk about how the monsters look inside the game too and how they roam around the map. If you just seen earlier in that video, you see that big giant golem just basically run around the map. They also have underground caves too, like what you see right here. The more you look at this game in its trailer, the more you can really value it and have a lot more patience for their release. They're really going to make this game worth it. Now, it can be frustrating to the community developers how they actually have to delay the game twice and can actually damage how the game reputation is. But me personally, I don't think any different of Emma Tales because it's still going to be a great game because they're still going to release it regardless. There's no way they would do all this hard work for nothing and just not release the game at all. They're going to try to make it perfect, try to make it the best RPG game on Roblox to even ever exist. So to delay it twice, I feel like they had a lot to work on inside this game. So we're definitely going to be looking forward to that right when the game releases i'm going to be very interested in how the dungeons will be how their monsters will be how the attacks will be how the animation will be how the magic will be how the healing will be how the pvp will be how the guilds will be how everything will be so 
That's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this whole video. Make sure to check out Emblem Tales down in the description below. I'm gonna be leaving an FAQ, also info, natural info, natural description inside of the description below of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out Emblem Tales. Shout out to the staff members, developer, founders, junior developers, everyone who's been working on Emblem Tales behind the scenes to make sure this game turns out to be perfect. Thank you for everybody. I'll see y'all later.